Gold has delivered a death cross. The price of the yellow metal has seen the 50-day moving average fall below the 200-day moving average. So what we have here is a gold daily chart, and the red line here is the 200-day moving average, which averages out the past 200 days of price action. And then we have the blue line here, which is the 50-day moving average, which averages out the past 50 days. So the 50-day is a lot more responsive to the current price action. And anytime you see the 50-day over the 200-day, that is a good indicator that... Uh, you could see some upward momentum happening, but right here when you see the the 200 day moving average flat and the 50 day was rising and then it kind of rounded off, now it started coming to the downside and as soon as the 50 day crosses the 200 day, that's what they refer to as a death cross and this is definitely signaling some further down moves in the gold and silver markets. Now, everyone on my channel and my blog, dailysilverupdate.com, and my mailing list subscribers can vouch for the fact that I have been telling everyone to sit in the sidelines and wait for this correction to come. I've been saying this for months now. I've put myself on the line and said I'm not buying any silver right now, and I'm just waiting. So... I guess this is what I've been waiting for guys, I'm still not convinced that a bottom is in, and honestly whenever I decide to go out and make a purchase, I definitely will tell my subscribers because I know a lot of you are waiting or have been waiting for this correction, and now that this correction has come, uh, hopefully I'll be able to provide some additional insight on where this thing is going to possibly bottom. So finally, remember gold has been falling for essentially two reasons. Real interest rates are on the rise. So normally gold, goes, uh, gold does very well when interest rates are low because people have no incentive to keep their money in the banks or invest it in other, uh, in other places that don't give them a very good return. So real interest rates are on the rise, so that is very negative for gold.